Sporlin, creating products that provide solutions so that your air conditioning and refrigeration needs are not only met, but exceeded. Offer the highest quality products, innovative solutions, and unparalleled support in the market. Have you guys ever heard that saying, Mama said there'd be days like this? Well, that saying rings true every now and then. I don't know where it started. A song a long time ago. Somebody just came up with it hundreds of years ago. I don't know. But I learned what that meant on a cold day in 2009. You see, I had just opened my business in April of 2009. I had done one complete HVAC changeout in October, duct work in a package unit. I was very proud of myself. But when December rolled around, I got another job. This was a little bit different, though. This job was going to be for my mother-in-law. I had to install a new package unit, her old Heil ICP reverse horseshoe unit. Keep that in mind. It was a horseshoe where the return and supply were reversed. That unit had lost a compressor, had lost all the charge, and it was time for replacement. It was old, it was dingy, it was dirty, it wasn't working very well. It was definitely time. No sales needed. So I ordered a brand new 14 sear Goodman GPH package unit. And at that time, there were tax credits given for 14 sear package units, so she got a rebate. Now I'm a good son-in-law. I try to be a good son-in-law. When she wants to hang a picture on the wall, I hang her a picture on the wall. I installed a new front door on her house years ago. I do stuff like that when asked to. So for this job, I charged her a couple hundred bucks for me to put it in. A couple hundred dollars. Truth be told, I probably made minus $2,000 on that job. Mama always said there'd be days like this. Keep that in mind. So I went to install this unit. I was doing it by myself. For the most part. My brother helped me roll the unit up. Roll the old one away. We put PVC rollers down. Rolled the units. It was pretty easy. We used to have a method where we'd get a dolly or a hand truck on either end of the unit. Lift it slightly off the ground. It was almost like having a unit on a cart. Except it had more mobility. So we moved that new unit into place. And I got to duct in that unit. I ducted it up like I would any other unit. Keeping in mind that the old Heil horseshoes reversed. So I just went about my business. I worked all day. It was getting late in the day. Just short of closing time at Johnstone when I fired that unit up. When I fired it up, it had the nice conditioned air coming out. Coming out of the return, that is. And all the supplies were sucking in air because I had tied it in in reverse. I didn't put two and two together, and I knew better. I'd worked with those high horseshoe units a long time. When I first came up, that was very popular. My father was a Heil dealer. We installed a ton of Heil units, including the horseshoe. I knew better, but I did it anyway. I wasn't thinking. So I had to get under the hood of that unit, because there's a hood, or as my buddy Ralph calls a dog house, where the ductwork goes from a package unit to the crawl space. In North Carolina, it's very popular to have a package unit with ductwork going into the crawl space. Luckily, I had enough room under that hood to make some transitions that would work. Now, were they static friendly? Probably not. Probably not. But you have to do what you have to do. And I'm pretty sure I already burned through my $200 of labor cost a long time before that. So I finally got it turned around. Luckily, it was a small package unit, two tons. I was able to maneuver some 14-inch elbows and get everything lined up properly. The unit was far enough off the house where I could make my transitions. Was it attractive? Definitely not. Functional? Yes. I didn't take static on that unit because I didn't take static on any unit back then. That was before I really came into my own as far as technological advancements in the HVAC field. Had a pair of analog gauges. Had a vacuum pump with no micron gauge. You guys know. Everybody went through this. We can pretend like we didn't, but we all did. Those of us who have any age on us anyway. The newer guys might not know about the old ways where we were missing some of our key technological components. So I got everything hooked up. And finally, when I turned it on, air was blowing out the supplies and sucking in the return, just as the machine was designed. It had been a long, hard day. 
and I knew after that moment the struggle was over and I could move on, and I was done with this unit. But Mama said there'd be days like this. But about a month later, my mother-in-law calls me. Said this unit's making a horrible noise. And I asked her about the noise. She said it was like a bunch of glass rattling around in a can. And at that time, I was unaware of the reversing valve problem that Goodman was having. Now, I'd become very aware of it shortly. But at that point, I didn't know what she was talking about. I actually called the Goodman tech support and asked them about it. And they said, oh, it's probably that reversing valve. We're having a lot of problems. So I went out there, and I smacked that reversing valve with a hammer to get it to shift. And it did shift. And went back into heating, which is what it was supposed to be in. In the heating mode, the machine switches from heating to cooling and defrost. It's a heat pump. So every time that shift is made, that reversing valve has to shift. That's a lot of shifting during the winter time, especially when it's cold outside. And unfortunately, it wasn't making that shift every time. Oh, I could smack it with a hammer. But I wasn't going to be there every time to smack it with a hammer. A lot of guys put AC Renew in, just like the TXV issue years later. Or SUPCO 88. I use SUPCO 88, which is a more old school remedy. But I like SUPCO 88. Unless you spilled it, then it became the bane of your existence. Because it smelled worse than anything on the planet. So I had to do what I had to do. We replaced the reversing valve. But after that, finally, finally I was done with this unit. Mama said there'd be days like this, and my day was over. Day two was over. So I knew that I had paid the price for installing this unit. My labor rate had gone from making $200 to probably making minus $700. Just to throw something out there. But unfortunately, I wasn't done. It was more than a month, not a whole long time until I was called out again. This time, the blower died. Anyone that's been in the HVAC field for a few years knows that X13 blowers, they die a lot. Now, whether or not it's because the blowers are no good or because the application is no good is up for debate. I know a lot of us have debated that. People put blowers that are not designed for a high static or bad ductwork onto high static ductwork. And like I said, I never tested the static on this ductwork, so maybe I am to blame for this thing. But that blower died. I had to replace it too. Finally, I was done. Finally, I was done with this unit. I could move on, go about my business, work on something else. Unfortunately, I got another call. Jeez Louise. Unit's frozen up. Hopefully, my new blower didn't break too, causing the unit to freeze up. Because in cooling, if your blower breaks, you got no air across the coil, it's going to frost up real quick. So that was probably what happened. Lost another blower. These junky X13 blowers. Damn it. But that wasn't the case. When I got there, thawed everything out. Low on charge. The evaporator was leaking. So after that first day where I made the mistake of switching those ducts, I figured I'd paid my price. But now, I felt like I was just being punished. Like a practical joke almost. So I had to replace the evaporator coil. Replace that evaporator coil. Made a nice video. Put it on YouTube. In fact, got done with that, and I knew that there was no way there could be more. I mean, how could there be? There wasn't any parts left on this unit to break, right? Well, I was wrong about that, too. Now, it had been about four or five years, but then I lost the compressor. You gotta be kidding me. $200 to install this thing, and now I've replaced more parts than I thought the machine had in it. But I replaced that compressor, put that on YouTube too. Might as well get some good out of it. Get some comments. Get some views. Have some sort of YouTube fame out of it at least. And that was the last thing I had to do on that unit. Because I figured I brought my grand total up to minus $2,000 at least. But it's not about that. I would do it again. Because it's my mother-in-law. And that's family. And you take care of family. It's just unfortunate. It's not a cautionary tale to say you shouldn't help people. It's just a funny story, and it's only funny because it's in the past. At the time, it was not funny. And I'm sure everybody's gone through stories like that, where you have a unit that's the bane of your existence. A unit that gives you more trouble than any unit you've ever put in before. And there's no explanation why. Sometimes you could have followed the instruction manual a little bit better, or lowered that static a little bit more. These units seem like a cruel punishment. They remind you that no matter how good you are, how long you've been in the field, 
and I wasn't that good. And I hadn't been in there all that long. But it was a reminder that you're never all the way there. I know a lot of you guys have gone through this before, and so have I. My name is Zach Sieta, and I am the Tradesman. Jackson Systems is your controls expert in the HVAC industry. With our top-notch technical support and customer service, we make life easier for you, the HVAC contractor. We offer free trainings on any products sold here at Jackson Systems, along with our filter fetch program, free thermostat and printing, home and business automation with connected sensors, cameras, and even smart stats from Nest, Ecobee, Honeywell, White Rogers, Google, and more. Visit us at jacksonsystems.com to see the products that continue to win industry acclaim among contractors worldwide. Jackson Systems, controls done right.